Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the different pastel strokes. Uh, pastel, the strokes are really your vocabulary and um, so it's important to be aware of the strokes and what they can do for you and to make them interesting um, to add to your painting. A lot of people, I see the beginners, um, let me just make a little box, and they're doing kind of a coloring in thing where they're just kind of coloring and yeah, kind of coloring in the lines. And it doesn't really have any interest. Um, so you want to avoid just coloring and make your strokes count more. So um, this is a blanket stroke and I'm applying more pressure. But you can see that I'm, I'm moving my hand fast and I'm getting a lot more energy and it's creating a different kind of a stroke. Um, a drawing stroke is more, more freehand kind of improvised stroke. If I was doing a, a face, say, and I'm following, you know, in drawing, sometimes you follow the form, sometimes you go against the form, but I'm kind of keeping in mind little directions like here I'm following the jawline and um, these drawing lines can be very effective when they're combined with like a with like a blanket stroke because you have that nice contrast glazing is something that's really different and glazing stroke is with light pressure and supposing I wanted to take this color and I could put this beautiful little glaze on it and create a beautiful glow. So it's a light pressure. If I wanted to glaze this, it's the same thing, but it's very light pressure. Um, the side stroke, fair amount of pressure. Glazing stroke, very light pressure. So these strokes, they end up being your style as a painter and um, they create a lot of energy in your paintings. Sometimes if you wanted, if you had a, a composition where you want to lead the person into the composition, you'd make strokes that would fall in a certain direction. Um, there's a, a kind of a hatching stroke where people will build up. by creating hatchings like this. Those are very interesting. And if I was to layer on top of that, I would want to leave some of that coming through. And if I layer it again, I get a beautiful energy there. Um, so in general, I like to speed up my strokes a little bit because a stroke that's really slow, it just doesn't have much energy going. Whereas I'm, if I'm working quicker, you know, I'm getting a, a lively stroke. And then there's the pointillist kind of stroke. That's, it's kind of a little sort of a dot stroke. I like to do that fast too, because if you don't, it becomes kind of mechanical and you're just doing this woodpecker like stroke and it's not as interesting. So vary your strokes um, to create your own style. Um, in pastel uh, your strokes are your brush strokes so they're important. Thank you.